What's up, guys? It's still high up. <laughs> Thanks so much. Welcome to um, my channel once again. Um, finally, I'm doing a video that is worth something. Um, I'm actually going to do something, um, my, my best things, and that is to do CDs. Um, and I'll show you that I've got a lot of CDs, so I'm not going to waste any much of your time. I'm going to quickly show you. So this is, if I turn you this way, this is what my CDs are like. So we've got quite a lot there, as you can see. So I've got a few to get through. So, like a little meow. Anyway, <laughs> this is, yeah, makes me feel um, slightly weird. So, yeah. Okay. I'm glad I've got brightness, finally. Um, I did try to do a video um, a few minutes ago, but I just realised I didn't have any brightness. So I've got a lamp to keep me uh, bright, so I'm getting the hang of things. So, let's get started. So please, before I get started, smash the like button, hit subscribe if you are new, and please just turn the notifications because I'm lonely. So, yeah, and I'll really like some friends. Well, I've got friends, but um, I'd really like some people who love the music that I'm going to show you. It's, it's best if you subscribe after, if you do like the music, and then I will um, definitely um, reply to you all as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, we've got a lot to get through, so I'm just going to go and get started. And we're going to start, so basically I've put them in different order. I'm going to do a CD video today, so it's just basically me going through all the CD, my CD collection. Um, and see if you like any of the bands and give you a little description of the band if you don't know who they are um, and if you like the kind of genre then I will let you know as well and then yeah just let me know okay and if you do want any of these CDs that you haven't got then please let me know and then um, we can get that well I'll let you know what the CD is called and by who and who it's by and then you can get it yourselves hopefully at any of your local music stores or on or online because we are in another lockdown. Oh, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. Um, and also something bright, it's snowing. So yay. Um, well, it's not snowing, it was snowing. It was snowing. It is now settled. So um, yeah, it's good that we can look out my window and see nice white snow and just, you know, something different and yeah, it just makes it look more beautiful. So, without further ado, let's get started with my CD collection. Without further ado, let's start with the first one. They're all random, but I'm putting them in the categories of the band, so I won't give you... Um, so I'll do the, once I give you a band, I'll do it straight away. Okay, so we're going to start off with a solo CD, which is the only one that I've got from this band. It's by a band called Keen, which is a, a who are band that are from um, the UK. And they are, um, you may recognise songs such as Somewhere Only We Know and Everybody's Changing. And um, this is actually their new CD. They actually broke up. They they probably, uh, I think they uh, united in 2006. They had a good six years and then they decided that no more. They decided to split up in 2012. But it didn't last long because they, after five, six years, they came back. And this is their comeback album called Cause and Effect. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I've had it for about over a year now, but I haven't opened it yet because I have some of the songs I have listened on Spotify and Amazon Music. You can get them, of course, all on on there. But yeah, this is Keen's Cause and Effect. And they've got songs such as The Way I Feel, Put the Radio On Phases, Chase the Night Away, Mixture of Slow and Fast Songs. And I think you'll like them if you do like a bit of indie, a bit of pop. It's a mixture of those two. So that is my first album, that's Keen, um, Bangle Keen. And I'm going to put all my CDs down on the floor. The floor. And um, next I'm going to move on to a nice, um, as Americans call it, the Scottish, the Scottish Beyonce. Um, that was terrible. That I don't know what the accent was. Anyway, this is Mr Lewis Capaldi. And this is Divi Divinely Uninspired to he a Hellish Extent. Um, I can't, you can't even see it and it's like got light as well and you can't even see it so but I'll tell you it is Mr Lewis Capaldi let me see it might be better yeah probably you might have to you might have to pause the video uh, where but yeah, I'll stick for five minutes some high seconds five four three two one there we go so pause it so you can see what the title is called but it is called Divinely Uninspired to Head Extent um and I've got songs I mean you know songs if you are if you listen to the radio you may have if you do listen to music, popular music nowadays, you'll have heard someone you loved before you go. Hold me away, wait, Grace, 
um, all these songs on there, some amazing ones. And they're kind of depression, depressing songs, but some of them do sound happy. But they are actually, when Lewis was writing them, he says that they are really, really depressing. So um, if you like depressing songs, you have come to the right place, as he says. Um, so yeah, as he says in all the concerts that he's done. Speaks to Luke Quality. Uh, check him out if you haven't. He is amazing. He really is an incredible singer, incredible songwriter. Check him out. And he's going to be a dark horse for the future. He's going to be kind of like the Ed Sheeran of um, Scotland. Um, but the Beatles did be on to Scotland as well. So that is um, Mr. Lewis Capaldi. Lewis Capaldi. Now moving on. Um, it's all, like I said, it's a mix. I'm actually going to give you my, I think it's about time I give you my first duo. So my first double bill or triple bill or um, more of more than one CD from a certain band. Now they are a rock band, a uh, rock and indie band, uh, which is kind of what I like as well, in case you didn't know. Um, and I'm going to start off with the um, oldest one that they um, released. Um, it's by a band called Paris, in case you don't know how to spell them. I'll sit down. In case you don't know how to spell them, their, their spelling is P V R I S. So that's P V R I S, not A. A. Not A. Um, I said no, no O for some reason. Not A, not A. So it's P V R I S. They're an amazing band, and they've released three albums. Um, they they formed in twenty thirteen. Uh, they formed in twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen, um, and they released their first album called White Noise. Um, I haven't got that album. I'm hoping to get that album very soon. Um, but we're going to go into. I have got their second album and their newest album. So the second album, which was released in twenty sixteen, is called. I have to say it because sometimes I get confused. All we know of heaven, all we need of hell. And they've got some amazing songs on there. It's got Heaven, Half, Anyone Else, What's Wrong, Walk Alone, same song. Um, they're, they're just an amazing band. I've got to admit, they are incredible. And um, there they are again. And uh, they are just amazing. Um, they really are. There's, there's been, um, you may have seen, especially if you're a fan of rock, that there have been some allegations of one of the guitarists that he has been um, a bit... Um, I don't know what, I shouldn't really, I'm not really a person to explain about it, but he's quit, he's had to quit the band because of it, um, because of allegations, so, um, yeah, it's really a shame, but they did, for the first time, they performed, um, a few weeks ago, virtually, and, um, it was just the two, the, the three that were already there, so the drummer, the basser, the bassist, and then, of course, the main woman named Lin Gunn, so if, um, you want girl power, girl power, uh, if you want, um, a bit of girl power, and Paris is banned for you because the lead singer Lynn is incredible. Um, honestly, her voice is amazing, and you've just got to check them out. You, they are incredible. So that is the first. That is the second album that they released, and now their newest, the third and newest album, um, called "Use Me." It was actually released last year in 2020, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping this might be, along with many others, this might be one of the uh, ones in my top ten or my um, my album review. So um, just to get you used to it. But yeah, this is one of the bands that are going to be a part of my review probably in the upcoming weeks. And they have another called Use Me. Um, this was this was released, also written with that guitarist who of course had to be axed, so had to be quit, so had to quit. Um, but of course, halfway through, of course, he had to leave in September last year. Um, so, and they've been doing it. They're going to be uh, once they once we can eventually go out to concerts, they are going to be on tour uh, with. Uh, hopefully the new song which I absolutely love. Give me a minute is an amazing song. Death of Me, Hallucinations, Old Wounds. Um, some of them do have a bit of swearing in them as well, but oh well. Uh, so, some artists do like them. Some artists have them. So that's awesome. But yeah, they, like I said, an amazing band and she literally tops it off on this album as well. So please do check them out as well. Paris, P-V-R-I-S. They are incredible. They are just amazing. And long may they continue. Long may they continue. Absolutely. Now, another band you may know with songs Radioactive and Thunder and Believer. Um, they are an amazing band called, and they're doing, they always do amazing things on tour. They always talk about mental health, especially the lead singer, he, uh, Dan Reynolds. He focused so much on mental health. He's kind of like a god on it because he went through the same thing. And all he says, and I'm going to say it to you guys, if you feel down, I feel I have down days many times. You guys must have down days. A lot of people have down days. Um, listen to this this man's music because this man is an amazing. This man's a god in my eyes. He's just incredible with what he does. And uh, this is his album, Evolve. Um, now he released of course first album I haven't got. This is the only album I've got. Um, this is the second album they released called Evolve. Um, 
and they've got songs those songs that i mentioned like believer fanda um they've got some amazing emotional songs i don't know why whatever it takes rise up some slow songs some fast songs they are incredible so they are amazing just check them out this album and and you may have recognized them when they performed uh for instance radioactive you may have a song um remember the song they are the kind of bands that do that and they're a lot of rock a lot of indie and like i said the lead singer has gone through a lot of mental health and he always every concert that he does he's he mentions about it he honestly he always wants to mention about it because he's just you know so adamant on it and same with me as well i'm i'm adamant on it as well and uh, i'm the same i don't stand people uh, i can stand people with mental health and i understand if you have gone through that i've gone through that I've, there was a time where i had to go through that kind of stuff and i had to have counseling as well so um this man just check him out imagine dragons evolve this album is incredible probably one of the best albums i've got in my collection honestly on how inspiring Dan is to many people out there. And his words, go and see a therapist if you need to, or just count what we call him here in the UK, the ca a counsellor, go and see a counsellor. Um, don't bottle it up, tell people. And um, that's what this album's about as well, uh, evolving and being the better person, trying to be the better person. Life won't be good if you bottle things up, just let it happen. Okay, that's my word to you. The LS Imagine Juggins and Evolve. Now moving on, I really want some more albums from this band. Um, the only album I've got is the album that um, they released last year, um, within a few weeks uh, into the pandemic um, of coronavirus, COVID, this weird virus that's going on still. Um, but yeah, this is um, the amazing All Time Low. You might, excuse me, this is All Time Low. You might remember them, um, you might know them. Um, they've got songs like Dear Maria, Count Me In. They've been around for, I felt like forever, they've been around so long um for pretty much since the noughties they're kind of like the emo rock gods that were there in the noughties um kind of like fallout boy and um blink 182 and all those kind of bands and they are still going strong and they've got some amazing songs here in this album as well they released a new album which a lot of people uh, they released them in 2016 called last young renegade which a lot of people weren't um into they honestly um a lot of people i i liked it there's probably only one song that I didn't like on the album, but quite a lot of people actually mentioned that they didn't really like the album and that they wanted something bigger and better for next time, otherwise they're not going to bother listening to them no more. But this album has topped it. This album has gone back to their roots, it's gone back to their roots, it's gone back to their rocking, the really songs such as Some Kind of Disaster. I, to be honest, this is my favourite album. I said I did say that I mentioned it was one of my favourite albums. This is also in a favourite album of my collection. Literally, with the fact that every single song apart from two, I don't like. Uh, songs going from some kind of disaster, Sleeping In, Get Away Green, Trouble Is, The Touch Shark, Wake Up Sunshine, Monsters, which they actually did a remake of the song with Demi Lovato. They released um, at the start of this year, so um, check that out. That is an, an amazing song, especially with Demi. It just gives it the extra performance. Of course, the American singer Demi Lovato. Uh, they've got Safe, Clumsy, Glitter and Crimson, Summer Days, Basement Noise. All those songs are just amazing and I absolutely love this song. Check them out if you don't, if you like a bit of rock and if you like a bit of kind of emo kind of section, then check All Time Loads back catalogue, not just this album, all the album. Um, and they are just amazing. They've, um, they even did their own concert series in America, of course. I was really excited when I couldn't see them, but um, I couldn't buy tickets for the virtual performance. But they've done an amazing couple of gigs based on each band, each member of the band they did. A set list of um, their favourite songs on the album, uh, favourite songs including this album, uh, along with the other albums that they've released, and they've done amazing. I hear, and um, yeah, this album is just amazing. It's so keeping on this album, um, and they were meant to be performing at Reading and Leeds. If um, they already booked up course in January, they were meant to perform at Reading and Leeds this well, before the pandemic. They um, booked Reading and Leeds for the uh, for the August, the summer of last year. But of course, that's cancelled, and for some reason, they're not even mentioned in the lineup of if there is a reading needs this year and of course many of us as fans especially me are gutted that Glastonbury is not going to be happening this year and um, I am gutted as well I mean it's just to keep everyone safe and on the plus side they did say that they are actually going to have two weekends of Glastonbury next year um, given I think it's okay and hopefully everything's cleared off by next year um, but that would be really awesome I'd really like that it's time for another double and this band you may know i mean a lot of people know them. they've been around since 
um, I mean, they started writing music since 1998, and um, they actually released their first album, Parachutes, in 2002, and they've pretty much been non-stop. Um, and there is actually three albums that I've released, uh, that I've got from them, but for some reason I can't find the third album. I can't find the third album, so it's got to be around there somewhere, so I'll keep a lookout, but that album I'll mention near the end of this section. But yeah, uh, basically, um, they're kind of the same albums. Um, I'm talking about Coldplay. Uh, they originally meant to be called Starfish, but they're called Coldplay. They've pretty much headlined so many shows. Glastonbury about four times. They've headlined four times, and they've performed the five times, of course, the fifth time being a, a daylight gig um, as their first ever time performing at Glastonbury in 2002. But yeah, um, they've literally got the album Headful of Dreams. This is the album I've got. They've released, I mean, they've got many albums. They've got about seven albums out. So um, this is their seventh album that they released, called uh, Headful of Dreams, which was released in 2016. And as of then, they actually said, that's it. They actually said that they are in the documentary, which I've got, which is, I believe, on this CD, which I'll mention in a minute. Um, but literally, um, they said that this album was going to be no more. This album was, after this album, that's it, they've split up. But no, because they released a new album um, in 2019. Um, and um, I'll tell you my theory of why COVID may have came, and I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but first of all, this is the Headful of Dreams tour. So this is a CD of them performing at Sao Paulo in uh, Argentina. I believe it's Argentina, I can't remember. Um, yep, there's two places they performed, Sao Paulo, which they've had the video of Sao Paulo, um, and also Buenos Aires from uh, Brazil, So uh, which they've um, also um, that they had a CD, a proper CD of it, and um, with a different, kind of a different set list to the CD. Um, but yeah, they've, um, so this CD is not just um, all the songs, they've got all the classics that they performed, such as Yellow, which is the first song that they released, Every Two Drop is Waterfall, Paradise, Magic, um, Him for the Weekend, Charlie Brown, Fix You, Adventure of a Lifetime, uh, A Sky Full of Stars, it's amazing, of course, and even some songs on this album like Birds, Everglow, um, Amazing Day, Up and Up, and uh, Head Full Dreams of Tart Jack, which is probably my, at the time, it's my get-to get song. Whenever I used to go to school, I used to listen to Head Full Dreams to make me happier because if I was having a down day, which, like I said earlier, we do all have down days, um, I had Head Full Dreams on, and it was, it made my dreams go, or in my head, like, explode and Put all my worries to one side and just enjoy my day and actually had a good day uh, on most of the days i've done that so i really do enjoy that uh cd if you haven't listened to them yet where have you been where have you been you need to go and see him or you need to go listen to them one of my dreams is to look at is to watch them um is to see them live which probably won't happen for a while even more so for a while because they did release a new album which i did uh, have they released it in November 2019. It's called Everyday Life. Um, you've got so many songs. They've got Orphans, Everyday Life, um, Champion of the World. So my voice, voice is getting dry now. But um, yeah, they've got so many co uh, songs which are amazing. And um, they actually said that they're not touring. At, but this was before the pandemic, that they weren't going to tour until they find a way to make their shows eco-friendly. And then, of course, within a few months, the uh, pandemic came. And um, I feel like that's the theory for me. The reason why is that they predicted that this pandemic was going to come. And this is the reason why the pandemic's here, because of Coldplay. So kind of they have, they have to blame, but then again, I still love them. So don't worry, Chris and the guys, you're all my heroes, because you just make me happy. And your music makes me feel good inside. Now, probably so far, the most CDs that I've got in the collection, I absolutely love this band. This is my favourite band of like forever, um, they're a band called Churches, and now this is like Paris, this is, Churches are spelled C-H-V-R-C-H-E-S, so that's C-H-V-R-C-H-E-S, no you in it, no you. And I'm going to start off with their first album, I've actually got all three of their albums that they've released so far. Um, so the first album is um, The Bones of What You Believe, their first album that they released in 2013, um, and they've got so many songs, you may remember the song The Mother We Share, if you have heard it in the radio, then that's the band that sings it, Uncle band Churches, that's, that's who sings it. Uh, the Mother We Share, We Sink, Gun, Teva, um, and it's basically three guys, um, Lauren, so another girl, who um, girl power again, um, see if we can get that trending, hashtag girl power, see if we can get that trending, that'd be awesome. 
So yeah, we've got um, The Mob We Share, We Sink, Gun, Teva, Lies. They are all amazing songs and they're just amazing band. It features Lauren, who is the singer, and it's basically a synth pop band, which are um, Martin and Ian, who are amazing with what they do with the techno stuff. They are incredible with that. Keep an eye on them because they are amazing with the synth pop band and they're just such, Lauren's such an amazing singer and she's evolving every time, which is awesome. Moving on to their second album, which is Every Open Eye, which was released in 2016. And you may recognise songs like Leave a Trace, uh, Bury It, which um, was, um, which they did a remake of that song alongside Hayley Williams, who is the lead singer from the rock band Paramore. Um, so they've got that coming up, they've got that out, Empty Threat, um, Keep You On My Side, Make Them Gold, uh, Warning Call, um, High Enough To Carry You Over. They're all amazing songs. And again, um, it's good because every album actually is sung by Lauren, but it's also sung by Martin, who is one synthesizer as well, who uses the synths as well. And he sings, he has at least one song in every album that he sings and Lauren's behind the synthesizers. So that's quite, that's really good. And I thought for some reason, because it felt like, they were, it felt like forever since they released this album in 2016. It was either 2015, 2016, I can't remember actually, but um, yeah, they released that album. And then I thought they'd probably split up. They're probably, they've only released two albums and yet they're not even releasing anymore. And then 2018 came and they released this album, Love Is Dead. I love this album so much. Um, I listen to it every time. Um, always have it on my playlist. It's amazing. Got songs like Get Out, Forever, Miracle, some of you may know, performing on the Ellen Show and Jimmy Fallon, um, God's Plan, which is a song by Martin Hurty. And actually, during this time, they actually introduced a new member to their fam- to their church's family, um, Johnny, who is um, a drummer. And they he actually, as of 2018, Helped record. He actually helped record. Little fact, fact fans, for you, fact for you, fact fans out there. He actually recorded the f- recorded the first album, the album The Bones of What You Believe. He recorded the first album in 2013 alongside them. Second album he didn't record with them, but this album he went back to them and recorded with them. And in fact, they asked him if he could, if he wanted to go on tour with them and perform the drums alongside them, as part of the band. And ama- amazingly, he said yes, and it works. It really works. They've got so many songs here, which I absolutely love. Check them out. They are churches right here at the top. You can see it right here. Yes, you can. And they are amazing. Check them out. There we go. So, moving on. We are getting through a lot. I'll try and get through them a little bit fast. I realise we're running out of time. I can talk. I can blab on. Another amazing band, which I'm very excited. And I forgot to mention that churches are set to release a new album, a fourth album, this year. So I'm very excited, can't wait for when that will um, land, so we'll find out very soon. Moving on to another band who is actually also in the middle of writing their new album as well, in the middle of writing, I believe, their fourth album as well uh, this year. They formed in 2009. They are an amazing band. They consist of two people, Tyler Joseph, Joshua Dunn. They are the incredible live band, which I'm surprised they haven't even won any awards for best live band because they are literally the best live band ever. And I actually went to see them. They're one of the bands I actually went to see in 2018. And I'm actually going to try and d- dive in the archives and try and get that uh, some of those videos that I recorded for you guys and post them on my YouTube channel. Um, same with Fallout Boy, which I'll reveal later on. But yeah, so this is the album Trench, which is their latest album that they released um, two years ago, three years ago. Um, and they are amazing. They released three albums. Vessel, first album, Blurry Face, which is amazing. Um, got songs like Stressed Out. Some of you might remember Stressed Out and Ride and Heavy Dirty Soul, some people might recognise Car Radio from the album Vessel, um, and some of you might even recognise Jumpsuit, Nico and the Niners, um, Morph, uh, Levitate, all these, all those songs that I've released, those four songs, plus many, many more, are on this album. Check them out, Twin on Pilots, and you may recognise that they did last year, during the pandemic, uh, at the Separate Homes, they released an album with, um, not an album, a single uh, called Level of Concern, which involved uh, Tyler, the lead singer, and his newborn baby. So yeah, that's good. And also, some of you may recognise Josh Dunn, the uh, drummer. His girlfriend is, or fiance, as he's proposed to her last year, is none other than Debbie Ryan, who you may recognise from the uh, series Jesse from Disney Channel. If you are a Disney Channel fan, Jesse, look her up if you don't remember. She is amazing uh, as the actress. And yeah, they're amazing. And a real shock when I found out. But yeah, they are from Trench. Uh, check them out. They are amazing. Pilots and they're amazing live. If you get the chance in live, please go because they are just 
I was, my mind is blown from them. They are just incredible, They're incredible. They're just amazing. And speaking of one of the bands that I did mention that I also went to see uh, the year before, here they are, ba bang, Fall Out Boy. Literally, the Fall Out Boy are actually, I've got to credit them because they are the reason that I got into rock music. They're the first rock band that I properly listened to and got into Fall Out Boy. They were formed um, in uh, uh, Chicago, Illinois, um, back in 2004. And they've got so many albums again on their belt. And a little known story, so they released their couple of albums. You may recognise the songs Sugar Were Going Down, um, This Incident in Arms Race, Thanks for the Memories. Um, you may recognise all those songs. And many, many more they've released, which I can't remember at the time, but they're in the back catalogue. Grand Support and Where's Your Boy, all amazing songs, which I, I'm not going to spend too much time mentioning anymore. But they actually, in 2009, they decided to split up. At the moment, at that time, they decided to split up. They were like, we're going to split up Gar separate ways. The lead singer, Patrick Stump, he went on to release his solo album, Soul Punk, which I wish I'd bought. I'm hoping I'm going to get it as soon as possible. But he released a solo album, Soul Punk. And, in fact, they had a good break. In 2012, they released a single called My Songs Know What You Did In The Dark, um, which is an amazing song, still my jam to this day. And then, the year later, they revealed that they are coming back together. After releasing that song, fans went crazy because they're like, Fall Out Boy's going to come back together. Oh my god, Fall Out Boy's going to come back together. And they did, and they've released over this year, over these couple of years, four albums extra. They released Save Rock and Roll, which was the album, and they've actually got a Young Blood Chronicles series, which I might actually put the link below. Um, so do keep an eye out for that because it's an amazing series. It's, it's kind of like a mini movie, but with all their 11 songs in that movie, which please do check them out. Uh, they are amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to see them. As soon as you see them, as soon as you end this video, see them because they are amazing with the Young Rock Chronicles. And again, I might see if I can dig back the archives and get their li live performances that they formed uh, for us uh, back in 2018. We'll wait and see. But yeah, they really see them all. Uh, you may recognise The Phoenix, My Song Day in the Dark, like I said, Alone Together, uh, Save Rock and Roll and Touch Up, which actually features Sir Elton John, the legend Sir Elton John, which is amazing. They've also got Big Sean releasing Foxes and um, Courtney Love. Then they released the album American Blue American Psycho in 2016, which has the song Centuries, you may recognise American Blue American Psycho, uh, The Kids on All Right, 4th of July, they are amazing, so yeah, do check them out. And then they released this album, which I like. I, at first I didn't like, but I now got into them and I liked. But just like All Time Low with their album Last Song Renegade, this album didn't really see eye to eye with the viewers. The viewers didn't really like it. Got to be honest. I'm going to be quaint. They didn't really like it. And this is the album that they released, their seventh coming album, and um, it's called Mania. They've got songs that like Young and Menace, which is kind of a crazy song, um, got to be honest. They've got Champions, The Last of the Rule Ones, where he plays piano, Champion, Heaven's Gate, Sunshine Riptide, uh, Bishop's Knife Trick. All those classical songs on that album. Check them out, they are incredible. They're still incredible, they're incredible live, and they do still are amazing. They just are incredible. And then I've got this album that I'm going to show you, which they actually, this is their volume two. Believe it's never done. Now this is a great hits album. The first album where they've got songs like Sugar and Down, Dance, Dance, Raise Your Boy, that's all on the Greatest Hits album volume one, which was released after their last album in 2009. But this is their volume two, which is actually from the album Save Rock and Roll, which they came back from the hiatus in 2012, onwards to literally um, their last album. And they've even got two new songs for the first time on this album as well, um, called Dear Future Self, which is by a, an amazing singer called Wycliffe Jarn. There's a song called Bob Dylan, which doesn't feature Bob Dylan, just to clarify. Um, but yeah, they've got the songs like My Song Got In The Dark, The Phoenix, Learn Together, Young Volcano, Centuries, Immortals, which is another song from the movie Big Hero 6. Um, and also, oh, and another song called What I've Been Waiting, which is, um, they did as a cover, uh, not cover, a duet with Lil Peep. This was, of course, before he passed away. Uh, Little Peep and I Love McConan, um, which is um, an amazing song. Check it out, it's a song and amazing band, amazing artist, amazing album. I'm just mind blown with the fact that I got to see him, you know, because they're just amazing. Amazing life, just amazing guys, they are amazing. 
hand sanitizer. They're amazing. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I'm almost near the end. I'm almost in the end. I, I can promise you. Now, I've got a lot of CDs. I'm just going to flick through them. Um, it's by another band, probably the second band that I've listened to. That got me into rock. And a band, if I didn't, if I was unsure about Fall Out Boy, this was the band that was for me. Panic at the Disco. Now, they've been through a lot of people. They've been through a lot of people. More people that have been through socks. Like, they've been, they've had so many guitarists go through their band. More, more guitarists than I've ever had socks. To change my socks. To change my socks. Which is a weird thing to think about. But, yeah. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> so, um, I've actually lost, lost count of how many albums I've got. I've got here six albums from them. Mainly because my sister actually, uh, before she moved out, she actually um, gave the rest of them to me. Because she knew I liked them anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go through in non -particular, no particular order. Um, I'm pretty odd. They've been a band since 2004. They've had so many people. Dan Weeks, um, who, is one of the guitar who was the one guitarist, of course, left um, in 2018 to focus on his new album, new band, I don't know how, but they found me, um, so yeah, that's an amazing man as well, so was, I was really gutted when he left, um, but then again, new band mates are amazing, but anyway, Pretty Odd, which is, uh, got songs like Nine in the Afternoon, um, Northern Downpour, um, it's probably my least favourite album of my collection, um, I'm debating whether to get rid of it or not, but maybe after a few more listens I might get into them, I haven't listened to them in a long time, so they're one of the bands, um, next is A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, um, which has songs, the only difference between, they've got so many long titles, I'm not going to mention them, Camisado, Time to Dance, Oh It Sins Not Tragedies, some you may recognise, Oh It Sins Not Tragedies, this is the band that did not pack the disco, Brendan Urie, um, it's amazing, and actually Brendan Urie you may recognise is the duet on, um, Taylor Swift's Me, also he's, um, done The Greatest Show on the Extra album, that where different artists performed them and his band performed The Greatest Show um, and also Frozen 2, he performed Into the Unknown from the album Fro from the movie Frozen 2 which you see at the end credits or he had one credits and actually, I'm not sure what album it's from but Ready to Go, you might recognise Ready to Go that is a song at the end of the Smurfs movie the first Smurfs movie I'm going to come back to those two in a minute because they're kind of some of the albums, all those three um, next album that I'm going to show you is Vices and Virtues. And they've got some songs you may recognise, The Ballad of Mona Lisa, um, The Calendar, Ready to Go, which I mentioned uh, was in the Smurfs movie, Hurricane, Trade Mistakes. They're amazing songs. One of my favourite albums as well. They're amazing and they've got so many good songs on there. And now I'm into pretty much these three albums are these songs. Are, I mean, this album is the album that got me into Panic at the Disco and got me properly into Panic at the Disco. It's called Too Rid to Live, Too Rid to Die, released in 2013. Um, they actually had quite a big break, but then they returned in 2013 for Too Rid to Live, Too Rid to Die. A, a little change, quick change in the uh, band members, um, which um, actually features someone who, um, a bit like the, the guitarist from Paris, actually um, had to quit because of allegations that were that may have been false, but may have not been. We still don't know to this day um, about if there's any what's going on with it but they've got songs such as this is gospel girls girls boys which he is an advocate for um anyone who's who's part of the lgbtq uh, lgbtq uh, company who's gay who's lesbian which is fine absolutely fine to be um vegas lights miss jackson uh colorful uh nicotine they're all amazing songs and don't forget he's not um or i should mention that he's not um, this picture is just him smoking. He's not smoking anything dangerous. You should clarify. Just to clarify that. So, and then his next album that they released was from 2016, 2015, 2016, which was Death of a Bachelor, um, which has songs such as Victorious, Empty's New Clothes, um, Don't Send Me With a Good Time, Hallelujah, Death of a Bachelor, and I mean, the title Crazy Cruise Genius. It's an amazing band from, uh, it's an amazing album from this amazing band. Incredible. And then it leads us to their newest album that they released called Pray for the Wicked, which was released in 2018, where, um, um, first of all, Dallin Weeks, the bassist, actually left and welcomed in the new girl, girl power again, hashtag girl power, um, is uh, Nicole Rowe. And then also 
um, had the one that man, man that can't really mention his name yet because of the allegations, uh, only for halfway through, and then of course the allegations came to a halt, and then he left, he had to quit, and then we brought in a new man named Mike Naren, who is an amazing guitarist as well, amazing young bloke, amazing guitarist, who's going to inspire in the future, definitely. And there's a song that you might recognise that has been on many soundtracks and many other things, High Hopes. This is the band that released it, High Hopes, Panic at the Disco. Also, Dancing Not Crime, Say Amen, Saturday Night, F a Silver Lining, I'm not going to swear, F, F a Silver Lining, um, Helic Ma made it, uh, one of the drunks, and yeah, many more in between. An amazing band, amazing good band. I really want to go and see them live. They're the next band I want to see them live, and hopefully I can very soon. Now, I'm only going to go, um, there are a few more, but I'm not going to bombard you with all those. I'm probably going to do two more, because I don't want to waste too much of the time. Now, a band who I'm hoping is going to get some more in the coming weeks, they actually came together, um, they formed, um, and they were young, the youngest band ever, with five colours in my hair, they were the youngest band ever to receive an award, so um, the youngest band ever to receive an award, and they split up in 2011, 2012, and uh, there's many things, one of them um, is an amazing author, uh, with a wife who has a podcast and was in the jungle last year, or the castle last year, because of course, pandemic and that, uh, one of them was in I'm Celeb and won it, one of them was in I'm Celeb and won it, uh, one of them was in Strip Come Dancing and won it, and uh, the other one in, is a coach on The Voice Kids. Um, I actually had some moment um, anyway. I'm talking about this band, Babam McFly. Now they are an amazing band, and this is their newest album because they actually split up. They had a big break, they had to go through counselling as a band, they had to go through group therapy because there was a lot going on. That they couldn't, one of them was taking things he shouldn't have taken, and then one of them was. Uh, thinking that they weren't friends no more, and then it was all cuddle, and then they got back together. Luckily, they're counselling because they are back bigger and better than ever with their album, um, Young Dumb Thrills. You may have heard, I mean, it's an anthem for those with the NHS, uh, All About You, you may have heard us some of the old classics as well, um, so many classics to even give you a list of. Got songs like Happiness, um, Tonight Is The Night, Growing Up, which actually features Mark Hoppus from Blink-182, which is amazing and many more songs which you may not have heard of um, that they released. An amazing band, I want to go and see them again. They were meant, to, excuse me, they were meant to tour this year, but unfortunately with everything going on, they've had to postpone it, but hopefully we'll get them back as soon as possible. They're an amazing band. Go and check them out if you haven't already. Where have you been again? Um, if you like Busted, if you like all those heart fobs, maybe if I sit in summer, you'll like them as well. Speaking of 5, 6, 7, now these are the last two artists that I'm going to show you. These are the last two artists that I'm going to show you. And um, other mentions that I'm going to mention, I'm not going to um, do them, but I'm going to mention them very quickly. Uh, one of them is Nothing But Thieves, which are a band from London. They've got so many rock out songs. They've got Trip Switch, Wake Up Cool, Ban All The Music, Itch. And it's their second album that, that they released. I Was Just A Kid, Amsterdam, Sorry, Little Like Animals. They've got so many songs in there. Uh, check them out if you can. Um, I'll hopefully do a album review as, uh, later on in my time. Um, and another band that I'm going to release is One Republic. The, this is their second album, Oh My My. They've released other songs you may recognise. If I Lose Myself, Love Runs Out, Apologise, featuring Timberland. Um, and they've got this album, of course, which is um, got a few songs on here, Love Where I Go, uh, Oh My My, the time track, Future Looks Good, Let's Hurt Tonight, uh, from the album, from the movie, Something Calamity. I um, can't remember which one. But they've also released other songs as well. Um, from their newest album that they released, um, like Better Days, Didn't I, uh, Song You Loved, um, and even most recently released a song with Kaigo called Lose Somebody, so check them out, they are amazing. Man. Those are some honourable mentions, other honourable mentions that I like, bands that I like are Youngblood, um, absolutely love this man, it's, he's just an amazing band, uh, amazing man, um, and an amazing song, and he's definitely a lot, he's um, pansexual. I was, still don't get what that means. I know it means that he must love women and men. Um, and he, his dress sense is a bit loopy, but he's just an amazing singer. Really amazing singer. And I love his new album, Weird, which is perfect time for this kind of time because it's a weird time. Um, and there's many more which I cannot remember. So um, you'll, probably, you'll probably see. Anyway, here is my final two albums. My penultimate band I'm going to talk to you about is Five Seconds of Summer. Now they are an amazing Aussie band from Australia, Sydney, Australia. Um, Aussie, partner of Shrimp on the Bar Band. Um, no. I'm so weird, I don't know why. I don't know why I've said that. 
Anyway, so this is their self-titled Five Second Summer album, which has She Looks So Perfect, Don't Stop, Good Girls, Amnesia. They are an amazing band. Check them out if you haven't already. They are just incredible. And um, they're amazing. And this is probably the um, least amount of time that they had their hair, all four of their hairs, like this. Because they, of course, had a big break. Uh, but then they came back in 2017 and 2018 with this album called Youngblood. Um, which, as you can see, they look slightly different. That, of course, first album, the self titled album, was released in 2012, 2013. Well, this album went over about 18, 17, 18. But this album is, they're in the 20s, they're grown men now. And they've changed, uh, some of them have changed their hairstyles. Um, just let you know, this isn't the drummer. Luke isn't the drummer. He is the main singer. And um, this is the drummer as well, Ashton. And they haven't swapped hairstyles. They haven't swapped bodies. They are the same people, but just, he's got long hair. He's got short hair. So, yeah. And they've got songs like Young Blood, Want You Back, uh, Valentine, uh, Better Man, More, Why Won't You Love Me. Amazing songs on there. And they've even released a new album, which I haven't got yet. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's got songs like Wildflower and um, uh, other songs which I cannot remember because I have got a really bad brain. So, yeah. And moving on to our last band, which I better go very quickly because I'm not wasting much of your time, is a, another simple band called Bastille. Of course, you may recognise them from Pompeii, song Pompeii, and they've got their album Wild World, which includes Good Grief, The Currents, Warmth, um, Fake It, Snakes, uh, Blame. Uh, an amazing band you need to check up, check up on. And also their third album that they released, Doom Days, which um, changed um, the lead singer, that, uh, the lead singer, um, I forgot his name now, as uh, had a shaved off head, so, um, yeah, messed my hair, I'm so sorry about my hair in this video, by the way. Got Quarter Past Midnight, Bad Decisions, um, Million Pieces, Joy, which you may recognise at Glastonbury, when we could, who performed at, um, performed with Lucy Paldi, who of course went on tour with them for their Doom Days album campaign. They went on tour with them. And without further ado, I'm not going to mash them because they'll make a big noise. But that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have watched us, I'm sorry if it was a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, um, I'm still getting used to being doing videos and whatnot. Um, something to keep you entertained, something to um, hope you enjoy. And uh, hopefully please smash the like button, so hit subscribe smash those views and I will see you in a new video um, and yeah thanks so much comment down below I'll, don't forget I'll put the anything you need to know down below and I um, absolutely love you guys for uh, those subscribers and any of you commenting and um, there'll be a new video hopefully very soon hopefully I'll be able to give you more videos as we go along um, sometimes I do feel like I'm a little bit like I can't be bothered you know I have to set everything up and like uh, too much because by the time I set everything up I do it and then I have to put everything back um but yeah thank you so much for uh tuning in um like I said smash that like button hit subscribe um so you don't miss another video and uh if any of these bands you like then please do hit that subscribe button it would mean it honestly it would mean the world to me I'm just starting out of course it would mean the world to me if I can get a lot of people's love a lot of people's people's respect and if you like those bands then please this is the channel for you I promise you, I will not disappoint you, and you will absolutely love it. But in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. I've been Matthew Goggin, and I will see you later on, as soon as possible, when I'll be getting on more videos. Woohoo! Until then, thanks so much. See you later. Peace out.